Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is Video True, and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas with Dust, where you join me back here, back at home, back at Novak or Motel or whatever else you want to call it, because you just you just leaving your cow here. No, no, this is my cow now. Sorry, that's gonna be my Brahmin steak actually. So uh, bye, have a nice life. So we have completed our little, you know, exploration. Down south, and there's only uh, there's two things down there that I haven't picked up that I could go and pick up. But honestly, I feel like I've done enough exploration down south. I've kind of been, you know, teasing the return to Vegas for weeks at this point. I'd rather just make a little bit of a return to Vegas. So let's chat about the things that I have missed. One over in the old NCR outpost that's now in the hands of the cannibals. Obviously, there's a well-stocked bar over there, so uh, I could get myself a big old pile of booze, but. I can probably do without that. I'm heading towards Vegas. There's going to be a bunch of casinos and whatever, so that shouldn't be a problem. The other one is Nipton. Apparently, at the back of the hotel, there was like a little slightly larger backpack hidden in a corner or something that I missed. Honestly, I'm not going to walk all the way from Novak back to Nipton just to grab a slightly larger backpack. I think I'm pretty happy with what I've got. If anything, having a smaller backpack is going to, you know, teach me important lessons about being responsible and not carrying around huge amounts of weight I don't actually flipping need. So I think I'm fine as we are to start heading back north, though admittedly. It's been quite a few in-game days since I did head north. I am mildly concerned that, you know, some of these places might have actually respawned their enemies. But before I go, if I recall correctly, last time I was here, I did not have lockpick of 50. Now I do. So I think it's time to probably go and open up a bunch of stuff I couldn't open before. Here we go. I thought so. One average gun case. Decent quality rifle, but I've got better with more common ammo. So I'll take the ammo, but leave the gun itself. However, flipping medical brace crutch and crutch. Oh, Christmas has come flipping early. Because I'm carrying around dog hides for exactly this flipping purpose. Right now they're weightless. Convert those into some actual belts. Got myself a little crafting achievement there. Might get a bit of XP for that. And with that, I can make myself... Yeah, flipping spot on. I can make myself one splint and also the other kind of splint. So... I'm actually okay when it comes to crippled limbs for the time being. That's marvellous. Oh, yeah, 68 XP. I'll take 68 XP for a random little Vegas achievement. Thank you. And two things to not forget in the ranch house. Number one, do not forget fridge full of Brahmin steaks. Absolutely flipping beautiful there. Definitely want to be taking all of them. And another gun case too. Oh, now that's the good stuff right there. 308 rounds and cases and hunting rifle to repair my Mexican hunting rifle with. Spot on. Oh yeah, plus two damage right there. Absolutely flipping beautiful. Damage of 40. And I actually meet the strength and gun requirement of that right now. This thing is beautiful. I can actually flipping... Oh, I can aim it steadily and everything. I like this thing. This thing is good. Now, even dumping a little bit of scrap, yeah, I'm carrying around a fair bit of food right now. Now, these dog steaks, not very good. Only minus 49, and healings plus 4 for 10 seconds. The Brahmin stuff, however, yeah, much, much better. Comes with strength, comes with better healing, comes with better on the food. I should probably just eat up some dog steaks, and then basically take all the Brahmin steaks I can actually get my hands on. But, let's do that in the morning. Because if I actually have good sleep now, then a good drink, then I just eat up dog steaks, then I just actually... In fact, can I do all of that here? I've got myself... No, sadly, that bed's own, so I cannot do that. I'll have to nip home first. I think this toilet is less radioactive than some I've seen, though, so that's nice. There we go. Just a quick bit of drinking from that toilet. Lovely. All right, sleep's only at 117. Say... Three hours should do for that, no problem at all. Yep, there we go. Sleep back into a good condition. Now, let's just quickly check the toilet in here, because I swear there's... No, that's the same. That's the same. Fine. Just take one quick slurp out of the toilet. Lovely. Oh, and hello. I just saw Hang the Flip on here. So I just see, like, a couple more Brahmin roll into town. I think I... I swear I just saw a couple more Brahmin roll into town. Hang on. What the heck is going on here? No, they've... They've gone. I swear I just saw two Brahmin just run along here, but now they're bloody wind Brahmin. Right, eat dog steaks down to 110 weight. Open fridge, 
take all Brahmin steaks. So now I have got food for days and days and days. Marvellous. And with that, it is time to return north, keeping a very, very close eye out in case, yeah, any of the stuff that I've already passed has now repopulated. Now, I do remember seeing notes that, yeah, in Fallout 4 Frost, repopulation was extremely slow. I don't know if I've ever seen a similar note about dust. Dust might repopulate a lot more quickly. So let's just quickly keep an eye out for any new fresh dogs that have shown up outside no longer old lady Gibsons. Seems to be calm, which is probably a good sign that Helios 1 is still cool as well. Well, then again, that was a dog barking. But then I think I left a dog alive because it was a friendly dog in the junkyard. So that doesn't mean I'm about to be murdered. Everything's fine. Just skim past Helios 1. Keep a distance. Head back over the dry lake bed. Take out a handful of ants if you can. Ants are fine. Very easy to take out. Got plenty of 10mm for the pistol right now. But be aware. If there's... Oh... Was that the... I think that was the Brahmin I saw earlier. Right, okay, I didn't imagine them. That's good. The question is... Oh, yeah. The cannibals are back. Okay. Stay on this side of the ridge. I've no reason to go back into Helios 1. I think I might have missed, like, one skill book in there. Not a big deal. Just give them a bit of space. Let's be on our way. I already cleared out the ammo box of anything I wanted that I left at the front door. I do not need to go back there. But from this point onwards, anything I've already killed might be back. Oh yeah, I see you over there. I see a cannibal over there. Okay, fine. This place is fully repopulated. Gotcha. And obviously anything that lives inside the actual complex, I never took out in the first place. So they're definitely still there. But I think I should just be able to run pretty much safely straight past them. Fine, that means all of the ants are back. That's not the worst thing in the world, though. I can just take them out with, you know, basic crappy junk rounds or whatever. Not many of those, but probably enough. Yeah, here we go. Handful of ants, but 45 XP apiece. Honestly, not that bad at all. And I tell you what, just in case one of them does get hit him, I'll just actually drink some nectar right now. In fact, you know what? I'll skirt around the outside of a couple of these lads. No need to cause trouble if I don't have to. And this should bring me back to... Ah! 188. Now, has the 188 regrown? That really... I suspect the 188 has regrown something. Okay. Because there was a fight between possibly but maybe not Veronica and Ghouls last time. Is that still going on, or is it just ghouls on this occasion? Because if it's just ghouls, I could do with just skipping this. Hello, what have we got? Yeah, I see the ferals. You're not going for me, though. Something's caught your attention. There were a handful of gunners the far side. Oh, hang on. Where are you going? Where exactly are you going? Is there something hidden in the mist over there? I think there must be something hidden over there that I can't quite... Ah, Brahman. Brahman means friendly folks. Okay, because that Brahman... Well, the Brahman was in yellow. That doesn't mean everyone else was in yellow. Hello. Have we got a little trade convoy around here or something? Yep. Yellows. Beautiful. I like yellows. Hello there. Let's be flipping friends. Because you are going to take out all of these ghouls for me. Abso flipping marvellous. And if you want to get yourself killed at the same time, that'd be great too. No? Done a good job. Oh, hang on. What the? Is that an explosive or is that a... What was that? Is that an eyeball? I think that might just be... Right, that was indeed just a giblet. Someone's just flipping tossed a giblet over the top there. <laughs> Blimey. Right, well, if you guys aren't interested in looting the corpses, I most certainly flipping am. And better and better, they're just clearing out more and more stuff for me. I don't actually need to stop here for anything, if I recall correctly. All I really need from this entire spot is, yeah, just to pass through safely. And if I've just picked up a new friendly escort who's going to actually create corpses for me, better and flipping better. So we got ourselves two friendly folks with guns. Not exactly desperately well armoured, but 
they'll do for the time being. Two Brahmin as well. Anything else up here? Like, no, 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 not them. Not them. I'm curious if Veronica's back. Doesn't seem to be. Looks calm. Already looted this place. Probably not too much more here. But I'll gladly follow them. They're heading in the direction I wanted to head in anyway. Because I want to go to the Repcon headquarters. Last time I passed through, I didn't have Lockpicker 50. Now I do. There is a lot of XP to be got in that place just from opening up doors. I think there's like two or three different energy skill books in there. So that would be very, very welcome indeed. So uh, I think these guys are my new best friends. How are you guys doing in terms of... Yeah, okay. You're not doing so bad. Oh, you're doing a bit worse. I think they're just both armed with 10 millimeters, same as what I'm using right now. But, yeah, if they're heading towards Repcon, they'll probably aggro the actual handies at some point. But together we should be able to take those guys down. If they do pose any significant problems, I could just use this. Oh. What have you just seen? Okay, no, you just skip into the other side of the road. That's fine. I could use those eight pulse grenades I've been hoarding for parts and parts and parts and never actually using for anything. You know, using them at some point. That's an idea. Oh, and the situation just gets better and better. We've got another yellow survivor over there as well. Marvellous. So, yeah, we got two survivors here. We got ourselves another survivor right over here. Anyone else? And would you like to join up with these guys? Because uh, the four of us together, we could actually do something pretty damn good. But I think you're just... Oh, hang on. Bloody hell, the five of us together? Oh, yeah. Oh, flipping hell, yes. Come on. Come on, walk down the road, join us in a great big convoy of civilization. Now, I am admittedly a little bit concerned that we're walking, yeah, straight into what I know for a fact is tunneler territory. I've seen the bastards before. So, this could get worse before it gets better. And when I say, oh, hello? Who's just spotted what? Well, somebody wanted to cause trouble with something. Ah, yes. Problem is, I really want to head over in this sort of a direction. They probably want to stay on the main road, heading straight down. Alright, well, aha. Figured you guys might be back. Well, that's okay. Happy to pick one of you guys off and then basically see if the other one's willing to come over to my survivor friends. That will be fine. So, okay. How did that first shot not kill you precisely? That's 18 right there. Now I just pull off back in this direction. He'll just keep walking in this direction. And sooner or later, he will run into these bastards. Hopefully. Or he'll get hopelessly lost like a stupid bloody bastard. Fine. Except, oh, hang on. What, he's seen something. Oh. Have you detected? Yes, you guys have detected each other. Absolutely flipping marvellous. Thank you for just shanking him for me. Oh, and better and better with a makeshift 9mm on one of the corpses. Pick that up, immediately drop it. Get myself a nice little clip of ammunition right there. You, however... Ooh, a dirty water. I'll take that, thank you. And a stim pack as well. Marvellous. Right, so those guys are indeed continuing straight on down the road. Let's see what we can do over here with Repcom. This is the biggie. We know for a fact these guys are... Yeah, those guys are fundamentally angry. What's more there? Ooh. A little bit tough. Right, I think it might be time for them pulse grenades. Or I could save them for inside. You know what? Those pulse grenades have been eating up four flipping weight for a long flipping time. Using up the odd one would not be the worst thing in the world. Here we go. Repcon headquarters. And you, my good bots, can... 50-50. Yeah, go on then. I'll toss one in, see what happens, and that looks about right to me. There we go. That's what we need that stuff for. Now, keep a handful for inside. This might be very useful. Flame of fuel. I need some flame of fuel, potentially, to get that aeroplane up and running. So, that could be just the flipping stuff. Right, if you would like to come over here. How many are there? I think there's actually... Oh... Just make sure it's nothing else. No, it's just you. Just... I thought it was just you. Is there anything else? I don't think there's any... Yes, it is just you. Okay, that's absolutely fine. So, if we can just get a 50-50 on you as well, that'd be... Yes, great. Give it a go. 
Even if we... Oh! Okay. I think we... Oh, we missed you in the splash. Oh, that's less good. That's less... That's less good. Please stop setting me on fire. Thank... Oh, there's two of them. This is fine. Okay. That's 80%. And we'll probably catch him anyway. So that's... That's fine. So toss that. Point blank range. And kill both of them in one. That's absolutely A-OK. -okay. Didn't do much damage to me, really. 46. Back to hidden. Uh, I'll take a bit more flame of fuel just in case I need it. I can't remember how much I need for the plane. But actually, yeah, those guys are a good source of flamer if you need that stuff. Right. Let's put these away for the time being, but keep them ready just in case. In fact, this here is going to be, yeah, point blank range in corridors. If I run into trouble here, Power Fist will do the job just fine. And remember, we got ourselves friendlies. Friendlies and a whole bunch of very useful stuff here. Don't cause... Ah! Double hide. I'll take double hide. Ignore the hatchets. I don't need that. Makeshift crossbow. Kind of badass, but honestly, damage isn't that high. I could take or leave. C4. I'm tempted to take that just because of weight to value, but then I've literally not found a single place to sell, so let's not flipping bother. Remember that's there in case ever need it in future, however. Hello. Please remember visiting hours are from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. Please show your badge or make your way out of the building. Ah, well that's absolutely fine, because I have now got oh, average lockpicking. I can just go and actually crack open the rear doors in order to get myself a proper ID badge. Admittedly, yeah, had I come during uh, opening hours, I could have actually just got the robot to open this door for me. I forgot about that. Sorry. But now I can actually get the XP, which is better anyway. I mean, look at that. 72 XP ago. Marvellous. And then up here, we should have Mrs. Miggins ID card, if I recall correctly. There we go. No, Jenny Millet. Sorry. Ah, but tragically, door at the back of the cafe is hard locked. Still... We found something going on here. We found a little few bits and pieces. Is there a key to that door? Can't recall. There are bathrooms here, however. I've just got a little bit on the thirsty side, so one of you's got to have... Oh, that's... That's high on the rads. Okay, any chance there's the... No, all 18. Fine. Just take one tiny sip. There we go. Probably need to do a little bit of rad away, mind. Yeah, I'm sitting on plenty of Radaway. I'll do one Radaway now just to make sure I don't suffer from any rad poisoning or anything. Okay, time to make this happen because now I should be able to get in here. Ooh, lock, choose key. Jenny Millet security. Oh, does that work as a normal key in the base game? I didn't remember that. And now I've got, oh, now I need science of 50 in order to actually add my face to the... No, I don't because I've got the key card. I think I'm fine. I'm sure you don't need Science of 50 to be on this floor normally. I think this is all absolutely A-OK. -okay, and there should be absolutely... Oh, yeah. Tons of doors and whatever around here. And this room is a treasure trove. Oh, I thought I remembered it being like this. Oh. Oh, the microfusion cells. Oh, the microfusion cells. Even when they're all reduced to one, it's fine. And three ammo boxes. Oh, with 556 five, and more microfusion cells and energy cells and oh, more 556. Five, nine junk. Oh, I'm happy. I'm happy about life here. Morphine. First aid boxes. Probably can do without the scissors, though. Plasma rifle. Now, the thing is, the gorse rifle I've been carrying around. Unauthorized facial pattern detected. Uh oh. Valid security badge detected. Okay. Temporary access granted. Please complete employee registration with security. Okay, I'm cool. I'm cool with those guys. Now, let's have a little look at this quickly. Yeah, the pistol and the rifle. Pistol's doing only 12 damage. I can do without that, to be honest. Just dump that. Rifle's doing, yes, yeah, 16 damage. 16 damage is not worth my time. Get rid. Right, get off this floor as quickly as possible. We need to get up to uh, the next floor, though. Ooh. I will gladly take all of your microfusion cells, thank you. Because the next floor up, that's the one where you immediately sprint to the left. I think it's a very easy terminal to get yourself in the face recognition database. Yep, there we go. The jump scare poster. Through here, through here, straight over to this terminal. Job flipping done. Here we go. Facial data uploaded. Beautiful. And here we go. 
Nikola Tesla and you. At least two of those floating runners should be able to get. Probably three. Yeah, if I recall correctly, if I just stick to the edges around here. Oh, so much stuff. So much free stuff. Hello, Mrs. Millet. I hope you have an excellent day at work today. There we go. Mrs. Millet was the second floor person. Gotcha. And there we go. There's second floor security key card as well. Better and better. And more star bottle caps, because... Who knows, maybe I'll actually get to use those bloody things. Now, does that actually force open doors? I didn't think it did. But then, yeah, kind of actually worked downstairs. So, yeah, that's that's of interest. Now, on this occasion, the doors are actually locked properly, which is a shame. Because, yeah, this hard lock door gets me to the unique special plasma rifle. Though, to be honest, I'm not sure I'd actually use it anyway. But it would still be nice to, you know, have it as an option. And at the bare minimum, all these average locked doors. That's good stuff. Ooh, I'll also take double coke and whiskey. Marvellous. I'll drink all that straight away. Oh, and a doctor's bag as well. Oh, now this. This has been a good excursion. Now, top floor. I don't have Lux 7, so I won't be allowed here, but I might be able to nip in and out and get some stuff done at least. Yeah, here we go. It's, yeah, Lux 7 or a very hard terminal. So, sadly, that's not gonna fly for me. Loop round to the other top floor door, however. And that should bring me close by to, yeah, one couple of vending machines. Might be able to get myself, yeah, you know what? Keep my sleep down with a couple more nukers. And then we got ourselves, yeah, Paladin of Steel Mission Holler Tapes and nothing else on any of you. Oh, you guys, you guys coming over here to cause me some trouble? Not yet, you're not, but I'll be helping myself to this here briefcase because uh, security card, pre-war money. Nice. Third floor access is for executives only. Please identify. Why I've got this here? Oh, well, I've got a security card. Is that okay? Invalid response. Technically, I did actually have a card, but okay, fine, whatever, I guess. Uh, 30 seconds. Uh, right, let's just see how much time I've got here. Probably enough time to grab myself a whiskey. I'm sure that's all absolutely fine on the way out. And also, oh, I don't even have signs to 25. Marvellous. Don't worry, I'm leaving. I'm on my way. Bye. But the thing is, that was worth doing. Because that security card gets me access to the hard-locked room, which I otherwise couldn't get access to. Oh, I thought I was remembering that correctly. Oh, yes. Oh, flipping heck yes. And that means uh, there's another Nikola Tesla. Spot flipping on, together with more dirty water too. And all of the microfusion cells, of course. Oh, scotch, pre-war money, nuka, dirty, bottle caps, all that good stuff. Now here she is, the gun I came for that's probably completely flipping useless, severed weight, she's gonna need to be amazing for me to bother. Okay, the modulator, DPS 95, damage of 25, that's a decent DPS. That is a decent DPS, that's certainly true, but of course it's competing for ammo with the gorse rifle. Which I cannot flipping aim, but damage of 70. Can I really give that up? Even if I can't aim the damn thing. Because, you know, if I do hit with it, it just annihilates everything. No, I'm going to leave it. But I'm going to leave it here in a nice container. Because, you know, this is a fairly central location. If I ever want it, I will come back and get it. Alright, in, out, job, flipping, done. Didn't actually want the gun in the end, but the amount of XP that I've just made there. Just take one little sip out of the toilet as well. And we should be in very, very good shape. What time is it now, though? 10 to 8. It's getting late in the evening. Okay, how's my sleep at the minute? Do I need to... I need to find a place to rest, but not imminently. Now, plan going forward. I know if I try and head up this road, heading towards Vegas that sort of a way, this here area is swarming with tunnelers. If, however, I make a break to the other side of McCarran, keep my distance from the NCR, they seem mostly pretty cool with me. The tribals I've seen in that area are pretty cool with me. And yeah, I know there's a handful of ghouls outside McCarran itself. Wouldn't mind having a look in McCarran. Haven't actually been in there. I got close. During my very first little experiment, I never actually got through the door. Though, 
If I had to guess, I'm going to say that door's going to be locked and access to McCarran is going to be exclusively through the strip or vice versa. Or the strip is locked and the only way to access it is via the monorail. Assuming the monorail. You know what? Let's just head in that direction. We'll figure it out. Yeah, okay. 8 p.m. There's enough light for me to carry on for the time being. Cross over here, but don't go too much further west. We're close by to Deathclaw territory. I think I did see one in the distance at one point, so uh, I'm pretty sure they're still uh, around. This part of the map is... Oh, hang on. There's this... Yeah, this little train station. Can't remember what's here. Probably just animals, so power fist it is. And the answer is... All quiet, actually. Free loot. Marvellous. Including... Oh, my. A doctor's bag. And... Oh. The McCallum rifle. Hang on. What is going on there? Uses a very rare ammo type. Damage of 48, which is very good. Bonus critical chance. That's... That's very, very nice, whatever this thing is exactly. But no, I simply don't have the ammo for it, so I think we'll leave it be. But you know what? I think I'll leave it in here just to make sure it doesn't despawn accidentally or whatever. Oh, but hang on, there's more here. McCallum Rifle Long Barrel. This thing's got flipping mods. Who the heck is McCallum? Increases damage. Right. So that thing is now up to 56. 56 damage, and I do have... I mean, I do have some ammo for it. You know what? Take it with me. Use up the... Do I have any junk rounds or anything? Uh, no, I've only got the one ammo type. Four shots, that's your lot. Take it with me. Use it. Kill four relatively tough things. Drop it. Job done. Okay, now darkness is really starting to set in. Now I am struggling to see what's going on around me. Between, yeah, the faint mist of dust... And the darkness. I mean, this thing could take out a handful of... No, I know there's a huge swarm of at least seven tunnels over there. Don't even think about that. Right. The caravan site. This brings me back close by to where I want started. And this should be some free XP somewhere around here-ish. In fact, I'm... Wait, what? Okay. I thought I was looking at this one, but maybe I'm looking at, say, Aerotech or something, what have you. Now, if I'm remembering this correctly, there should be a whole bunch of tribals, but neutral tribals, unless you get too close around this area. Ants over there in a big-ass barn and some NCR standing about. But the NCR should, unless they see me, not cause trouble. Though, you know, they could very easily see me and start trouble. But if I just keep my distance, I think we should be okay. I just want to get through this area nice and quick and quiet. Our visibility is very poor. Very, very poor. I wonder if I could get back inside this warehouse. Because this is one of the starting locations. Yeah, I see you over there. I see you over there. That's fine. You're not going to cause trouble with me. I... Oh, blimey. Okay, and I'm going to guess no, obviously... The pit boy light does nothing. Now, slight concern. Those tribals are being marked in red. Oh, I cannot see a thing. I cannot see a flipping thing right now. Where is the closest bed to where I am? I need to find somewhere to rest until it's light. This is ridiculous. Oh, I'm detected. That's interesting. Someone detected me but didn't open fire. Normally, if that's the case, those guys would be marked in... Yeah, hello. I, I see you over there. Hello, tribal. Are we actually cool, despite supposedly not looking cool? I, I don't know. Okay. If I could just... Yeah, get in here. Get in here. Come on, give me a bed. Give me a bed. Give me a bed. Please? I can't remember if there's a bed in here, but bare minimum, there's some supplies. There's something useful I can do other than just vaguely wandering around in the dark. Yep, stim pack, rad away, the odd bit of booze, a fair bit of stuff we can work with in here. Oh, flip me, this place is a wine cellar. That is, what, 11 bottles of wine? Right there. That is my hydration taken care of at no risk, because I am a filthy alcoholic. Yep, sort out my rads, sort out my sanity, sort out any problems with water. Job flipping done, I will just sit here and drink wine all flipping day. 
Oh, I just decided to wait till morning, and that has... Uh, yeah, not turned out desperately well for me, but that's absolutely fine. I'm sitting in a wine cellar, I've got plenty of food, I've got an atomic cocktail. In fact, you know what? I'll hold off on the sleep business. The motel is just down the road, close by to McCarran. I can get a few hours sleep there. Alright, this is more like it. Bright new day. Those guys seem cool as long as I keep my distance. Wine is wearing off. Not a problem. Keep my distance from the tribals. No problem with those guys whatsoever. I found allied technologies. Keep my distance. Alright, I want to make some progress here. Happy to just leave these buildings be and give the NCR and the tribals a nice wide berth. Because these tribals seem very, very friendly. NCR, however, wouldn't mind taking out a handful of them if the opportunity arises. And we've got ourselves... Hang on. You're... No, you're a tribal. You're cool. You're cool. Keep your distance. Don't shoot at them. They don't shoot at you. All right. New day. Bunch of NCR over there. Don't need to worry about them. Probably going to be NCR around the corner here. Who I might be able to take out. NCR might or might not be on top of any of these towers. So, looks like these ones are safe. Keep your distance. Watch out for NCR spawning in, as they're guaranteed to do, round the corner here. Taking a few pot shots at... I don't know what, but I know it still happens. I saw it the first time I was here. And we've also got some... We've got some rats. Some rats coming from... somewhere. This is... Weird, yeah, there you go. I see you over there. Question is, is it worth taking you bastards out? Honestly, I'd say no. I'm pretty happy not. Where are these rads coming from? Why? Why are there suddenly rads? Okay, this is worrying. You know what? We're okay for the time being. Let's just do a radex just in case. I think we should be past the NCR. For the time being, back into tribal territory. At the end here, it's nothing but ghouls. Here we are, we're back in ghoul territory. So that would definitely be a waste for this little old rifle. In which case, we need ourselves... What would be good? 10mm pistol. Spot on. Just let them charge me, and then just Vats headshot them. Everything will be A-OK. -okay. Come on. One at a time. Line up, please. Thank you. Right, first three dead. Help myself to some steady, which, yes, could be very useful during important clutch uh, gorse rifle shots. Keep that in mind. And we got a, we got a tribal over there. I don't think your what put me into caution. Hopefully. There we go. There's the El Rey Motel. Now, I'm expecting... Oh. Well, this is useful. Something has upset the ferals, which means somebody, hopefully, has already killed a handful of them for me, which is good, because some of them are glowing ones, and they could be a little bit annoying on the old rad fronts. No sign of trouble yet. Where did they just go, and what did you just kill? Glowing one, damage, glowing one, feral. Line of five. Little bit concerning. Maybe use an explosive here. Here we go. Just chill out and wait. Whole crowd of them. Right, okay. This should... If we just let them kick go. And about there. Way over there. Way over there. Don't think that did anything, actually. But I can just snipe off this guy nice and quick. No, 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 no. You need to go down, my good man. I mean, I can just one-shot these guys in the head. I'm just a little bit concerned about the threat of, yeah, them getting on top of me a little bit. Do you want to use it? Yeah, go on then. Why not? Why the flip not, eh? Just want to make sure I've got at least a half chance of hitting. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Put that over there. Let them go into the middle. That did the job to at least one of them. Right, now we can just mop up scroungers. Okay, you're wounded. One of you is still getting up. Okay, at least two of you have got crippled legs. That works for me. Right, number one goes down. And number two comes in. Again. Okay for the time being. Back off. Uh, yeah, we got plenty of action points for the time being. 
Next one goes down. One hit. Action points are looking okay. They're regenerating pretty quickly. And now we're into the guys who are actually wounded on the limbs. So that has actually worked out pretty nicely for me. Last flipping one. In we go. 95%. Double tap to the head. Right. Cleared out the ghouls there. Good, healthy number of them. Happy with how all that went. Not done yet, though. Not flipping done yet. Reload. Try and get a little bit more out of them. Some of these guys have got 10 millimeter, which is very, very useful indeed. Come on, lads. At this point, it's got to be the last few. So if they just want to charge me, they are flipping welcome to do so. Butter knife. Come on. Where are ya? Where flipping are ya? I see a couple over there. It doesn't look like it's more than a handful, to be honest. Pre-war money, and that is most definitely locked up. Right, the South Barricade. Well, this area's had a little bit of a redo then. Intriguing. Yeah, most definitely all locked up, and somebody has decided that I am of interest. Who is it? It's you! Well, that's fine. Feels like there's very few of you left. So this is interesting. The NCR do still have areas that they have locked down. But this, this ain't one of them. Which you'd think this would be the one area. Well, actually, maybe they are still inside. They're just kind of... Hang on, go over to junk just in case shot number one misses. Unlikely, but possible. Boom, lovely. And we've got ourselves yet. Yeah, more coming in yet. They could be bottled up inside with no way to leave. Because, you know... Just because the door's not open doesn't mean they're not inside. Right, go over to that. Back to hit them. Still rads, though. Still rads. Luckily, these guys do occasionally drop rad away, so... I'm not making, you know, huge problems here. Ooh. Hang on. Execution victim. Well, this is interesting. Any chance any of you guys have got... Wait. Brought up onto the barricade, executed and thrown over the side. Right, so the NCR has started executing its own for, well, some reason. Some flipping reason. Not 100% clear on what that would be. And Okay, there's a ghost somewhere, and it's unconscious. And apparently this affects me somehow. Uh, who are you, by the way? Survivor. Right, you'll be the guy who tried to do a little bit of fighting. Didn't work out for you so well, did it? No, no, it did not. Anything around here? No, but at least one of these places has like a bunch of scorpions, so have guns ready. In fact, we'll be at point blank. Let's just get the power fist out. Lovely. Here we go. And I found scorpion room straight away. Yeah, I found the scorpion room. Bloody hell. Don't like the scorpion room, especially when I'm not using guns, but screw it. Is there another one in the bathroom? No, we're good. Right. Anybody going to have like, you know, a little note on them? explaining what's going on with the NCR, because this will be the obvious location you'd end up in if you're heading towards Macarum. So logically, there ought to be something here. Oh, I'll take a beer, thank you. Well, speak of the flipping devil, we've got ourselves a threatening note. Your debt remains unpaid. We've warned you twice. There will not be a third warning. Any consequences you have one day. Right, can't remember if that's there in the base game, but it doesn't seem that relevant to uh, the current situation. So, uh, that's a shame. Still, plenty more we can do around here yet. More rooms we haven't searched. I've already done that. Oh! Right, well, there's... There's some ghouls somewhere. Hello? Oh, NCR Trooper. Hello, where were you just a flipping second ago? Because you were not there. Alright, you just abandoned your post. You would have been very useful helping me clear out the bloody ghouls, but what have you. Let's just find ourselves, yeah. Let's find a new base down this side of the map. That'd be spot on. Right, how's this for a new home? No toilet I can drink out of. Boo. Boo, I say. One atomic cocktail. That's pretty flipping useful, actually. Yes. Well, we do have a note here. Up in the old El Rey Motel on the roof. Keys are under the bed in the room we met in the day of the King's breakout. Be careful out there. The day of the king's breakout. Presumably, yes, the day where the actual guys over in the king decide to like, shoot their way out and make their way over to Boulder City. We've already run into those guys. However, we don't know what room that is. So look for a key under a bed 
And then apparently there's something on the roof. But any chance... Ah, it's this room. Because I see a little key right there. Take the stash key. Marvellous. Okay, we've got ourselves... We've got beds. Okay, you know what? The fact I've actually got a bed I can use, that's... That's pretty good by itself. So we've got usable beds in this part of the world. Spot on. I think there's only one more room over here, but I might be able to jump over to the roof over here as well. Yeah. Come on, we've got ourselves... Oh! Hello! Right, I think we'll just quickly punch you down and... Oh, that's water. That's quite low rad water. Oh, flip. Yep, I'll be having all of that. Okay. Now this. This feels like home. Please give me a good bed. All right, we got ourselves a bed. We've got ourselves some welcome whiskey. We've got ourselves a drinkable toilet. Now this here... This feels like a good spot. And it's even got... Oh, it's lovely and Christmassy. Right, okay. I think we've got ourselves a new southern base. Marvellous. Apparently, I'm suffering from advanced sleep deprivation. Well, I don't want to go to sleep right now because... Oh, hang on. What's that? It's a teddy bear under there. Yeah, because right now, the time is... Uh, yeah, it's only in the morning. I want to actually take advantage of the daylight hours. So, in which case, I think it is time for... One atomic cocktail. I picked up one a second ago, so I will just use one of them. There we go. That will sort all of that out. And now, water's fine. Sleep's fine. Food is pretty much okay. I'll just kind of, yeah, eat another Brahmin steak. So, uh, we're under control for the time being. Right, all survival metrics looking good. Let's actually just get out a gun here. We've still got that stash to locate. Alright, here we go. Out onto the roof, but watch out. There's... Yeah, now there's an NCR person here. What have you got? Whatever it is, I don't like the look of it. So I'm just gonna... Okay. I'm not sure what I actually hit there. That should have been a hit. I think I might have accidentally hit your weapon there. Fine. NCR taken care of. I'm not sure where you were a second ago, but whatever. This looks like the roof of the motel. So, where is my little prize? Because, you know, they said... used to get... Ah, here we go. Stash, footlocker, key. What have you got for me? Oh, Okay. Interesting. So we got ourselves a stun gun. Doesn't actually say he does fatigue damage, but I'm going to assume it does. But yeah, it's got one of the MF breeders, so as a result of that, it doesn't actually need ammo. Okay, probably not bad at the very beginning of the game when you're absolutely, you know, crying out for ammo. For me, I think I'm okay leaving it. Police baton, stun gun. Yeah, I can do without. I think I can do without that. In which case, yeah. Let's just nip back inside here. Figure out what the... And also, don't get... Don't get stuck. There we go. Yeah, here we go. Let's just nip back inside here. Could do with another Radaway and some more Radex as well. So, what are we close by to here? Southern Barricade would suggest that there is, yeah, a Northern Barricade. In fact, actually, hang on. Southern Barricade. But McCarran's like... Here, if this is the south barricade, where's the north barricade going to be? I think there's like a, a vaguely broken area over here at the very tip top of the airport. But that's that's an odd place for a barricade called the south barricade. Unless, of course, the other one isn't at the airport. It's like blocking up the entrance to Freeside or something. But of course, yeah, it's the sharecropper farms. Previously an excellent source of water and food. I'm going to guess that's not really going to be the case anymore. So, we could head east. Head over the farms. The actual, um, yeah, the gun runners. Their headquarters is just around the corner over there. Beyond that, there's Crimson Caravan. And the two entrances to Freeside and North Vegas Square beyond. Alternatively, we could go the other way around. This area is pretty much nothing but ruins. Not desperately interesting in the base game and that leads up towards freeside all right let's just have a little you know just a little explore over towards the west just want to know what's going on over there because i'm gonna guess that this is the more interesting area we ultimately want to go but i don't want to head over in that direction before i know what's happening on this side too well i'm already feeling a little bit worried i see something over there that looks like it might be a a person like a big person, like a power armor sort of person. Hello, yes, I think we ran into each other earlier. That's fine, so you can just go down to a bullet and 
one more if you'd be so kind. Okay, so this area is really ghoul central. There are ridiculous numbers of ghouls. Luckily, they always decide to bring their arm right back before they swing, which really flipping works for me. Hello. Oh, a ghost. Okay. That's absolutely fine. Well, unless they've got a gas bomb. If they've got a gas bomb, that's... That's less fine. But if I could also sneak up on him, that'd be kind of nice. Are we heading into ghost territory around here? I don't see any more ghosts. And I don't see any sign of... Hmm. I don't see any sign of trouble at all, actually. Sunset Sasprella bottling plants over in that direction. Which might be of interest. If that guy doesn't have a gas bomb, probably just going one-on-one -on -one with him with the power fist is the right way to go. I should probably stop creeping as well. Ooh, you've got yourself a knife spear, do ya? Well, that's absolutely fine in that case. Hello! Right, let's just come over here, come over here, come over here, come over here, come over here. And then, oh, you're surprisingly tough. Right, that didn't do as much damage as I was thinking it would, but Vats will fortunately do a fair bit more. So we'll just punch you and just get in there. There you go. Keep hitting him. Critical strike. Down, but not defeated. Just go for a, a limb for a bit. Let's see if we can get up. I don't have anything with a blade on it. No, I've got no flipping bladed weapons. Well, that's no good at all. Right, we'll leave him be and head up this way. I just want to know what's going on in this part of the world. Because, yeah, you don't often come this way. It's kind of a bit of a an empty bit of New Vegas, to be honest. Because, yeah, all the interesting stuff is on the far side of Vegas from here. It's not really... Yeah, there's not really anything around here. I mean, just look at the compass. It's not flagging anything. So, I'm not really sure what is here, <laughs> actually. Oh, Right, well, I see a bunch of ghouls I've just managed to upset, yes, so I probably should just finish off those bastards. Well, I was just here to, you know, clear out the ghouls and head towards Freeside. However, there seems to be a... a door to the tops, hard locked, which is surprising, very surprising, all things considered. Also, I seem to have moved outside of... I've moved out of rats. Right, is it the airport? The airport's like massively irradiated or something? That's, that's of interest. Also, you seem to be glitching into a rock. Yeah, it's nothing but never ending ghouls that honestly, they're not really worth the ammo to look into for the most part. Stay on this side. I think we should be far enough away. They won't cause a huge amount of trouble. Fine. So, on this side of Vegas, we've got a back door into one of the casinos. Now that, that starts to get a little bit more on the interesting- Oh, bloody hell. Never-ending ghouls. How do I do if I just go over to- No, no, not that. What if I just try and punch these guys to death? How does that- Oh, I don't even have enough to finish them off in one head. This is- Oh, now, now I'm not in a happy place. Right, go away. Yeah, sadly, because you can't target head with melee, that's that's not really working for me. Right, okay. Let's see what else we got going on around here, because we should be close by to... Oh uh, yeah, of course, the South Sister. This is tied to the Whitewash Quest, I think. Oh, we've got... Okay. Um... Hello? Are you guys cool with me? Because generally the NCR aren't. How about you? Okay. Um, so if I drink your water, is that cool? Can I, can I drink your water, please? Okay. Apparently I... Well, this is odd. <laughs> There's a couple of NCR lads here. They're not willing to speak to me. But, nice to know there is a water supply in these parts, at least. Oh, I've also learnt why you actually want to use my tactics for dealing with these guys, rather than just trying to, yeah, beat them with a the power fist, even though you totally 100% can. Yeah, being hit by any ghoul whatsoever is ludicrous, Rads. I'm up to, like, 
700 right now. More than 700. That's no good. And we've got something new over here. Hello. We've got ourselves cloud victims. Alright, well, we knew the cloud was a thing around here. These guys don't seem to have much in the way of guns. So I'm happy to just basically keep punching you to the ground. Fine. Are we now in cloud settlement? Is that what's going on here? Yeah, possibly. That is... Wait, didn't this used to be... Oh! Hello! Right, well, some of the security's better armed than the rest of it. Gotcha. So the cloud victims... Okay, so Freeside is now hostile. And we'll just finish you... Oh, blimey hack! I was just very much knocked off my feet there. Well, that's very rude of you, quite frankly. And they are tough, some of these victims. In fact, they regen. They regen super fast by the looks of it. Fine, let's just see what we've got going on in town. Though I'm guessing it's not good. Hello? Oh, wait, no. I, I figured it might not be. Now, how good is your regen? Oh, yeah, you, you regen instantaneously. Right. So, cloud guys, you kill them, because if you don't, they're going to kill you and keep coming back forever. And some of them seem kind of cool with me. Hello. Right, so there are civilians in here just... Oh, blimey. No, don't worry. It's not actually a... Oh, this is, this is no good at all. Right, so now, now I'm being chased by an entire town, which is no good. But yeah, if you don't kill them in one go then they will just keep coming back forever. Now I'm being a, being a little bit swarmed right now. Little bit on the swarm side, yes. This is probably not going to end well for me. Never mind, I made it into the liquor store. Huzzah! Booze will solve all of my problems. Actually, a massive explosive here would be hilarious. They just shot their own dog as well. Still, we have learned something very, very important there, ladies and gentlemen. One, well, very unimportantly, there's a big old source of water up on the west side of Vegas. But yeah, Freeside is off limits. The cloud victims uh, do not take kindly to strangers and they're tough little bastards who will, yeah, just keep actually healing pretty much instantaneously. They are indeed just like marked Superman that we ran into back in the day. They just heal up like nobody's business. But hard locked door. That might be the actual way to get into the flipping strip. Lockpick 75. One more level, I could do that. My lockpick's already 60. Alright, not so bad at all. Potentially, yeah, toss in some Mentats. Should have plenty of Mentats, surely. Uh, Mentats, Mentats, Mentats. Yeah, so Perception plus 2, that's... It's 2 points per Perception, isn't it? So, I don't need to take it up by another 11. And I'd be in a decent enough position to actually infiltrate the Strip. But... Before we do that, I'd like to see what's going on. The sharecropper farms, Crimson Caravan, Freeside, lots of stuff, but I would say that's enough for now, ladies and gentlemen. Next time, we'll head over to the east of Vegas and see what is going on with the various factions and groups around there. Because, yeah, between Crimson Caravan, Gunrunners, and the NCR, there's a few unanswered questions. And ideally, someone will be able to tell me what is going on with the actual airport. Because McCarran is uh, locked up. There are victims of execution floating around. Something has gone very, very wrong inside McCarran Airport. And I feel like potentially, yeah, that little vertebrae that I saw up top, that might be important. I feel like that there might be potentially escape number three. We've got ourselves, yeah, a vertebrae heading to Zion to try and get through to Lonesome Road, which strikes me as a terrible idea. Zion and the Divide. No, 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 no. Or there's just an aeroplane way down here. That strikes me as much more manageable, but we'll see. I want to see what else is going on around Vegas. I feel like, yeah, nothing much going on to the west, but the east, that's where the interesting stuff is. And that's what we'll pick up next week. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd, and this has been Fallout New Vegas with Dust. Thank you very much, and goodbye. We've all learnt a valuable lesson here. When people have the zombie plague, don't allow them into confined spaces with you. We should just actually, like, use cannons. Do we have cannons? Use the cannons. Oh, they've got a big hammer. That's what the noise is. And a pirate's just rammed them. Okay, I think we're, we're in a traffic jam on the sea.